The Invisible Man by H. G. Wells. Today, we are on chapter number twenty-one in Oxford Street. Before we move on with chapter number twenty-one, uh, of course, we would like to uh, remind ourselves what we had done in chapter number twenty. Uh, since quite some time, we are doing the background uh, story of the Invisible Man. How he successfully uh became invisible he was successful in his experiment and tried it on so many things like a piece of cloth and then an animal that is a cat and then he was forced to do it upon himself and in the previous chapter only we did it in detail you know how his body became invisible and later on how he burned up the very apartment which he had rented because he wanted to burn all the proofs of uh, what he had done of his existence and he had already mailed from his place the three books in which all the details of his experiments are written and also his check book so whatever little money he has he has already taken it away and now he is invisible and he is out of that place he is free in the world and when we had finished the previous chapter um, he was a very very happy man a person who had a lot of expectations with what is going to be his future so in chapter n- number 21 let us see what happens when the invisible man goes into the world and the character list is dr kemp and griffin griffin is doing the talking and dr kemp is over there in his own house in his room listening to the story of the invisible man and at the same time Uh, looking out of the window expecting the police at any moment um of course if you were in the place of dr kemp you would have realized by now what a dangerous and an abnormal man this invisible man is so chapter number 21 in oxford street so we are in london the whole uh, place the whole event is taking place in london and we are um at a place called oxford street where the invisible man has come out to and what are his experiences his true experiences which he had uh expected or not expected because the first thing that happened was because the people could not see him and there were a lot of people uh, it was a busy street and it was morning time so people were going uh, here and there and to their places of work and doing their work so because the people could not see him uh, they trod upon his feet they pushed him and there was a crowd of people who who banged into him and were actually amazed because they could not they did not know into whom they have just barged and they just saw that there is nothing and yet they barged into him and this man is obviously uh, bruised badly by all the people hurting him pushing him and uh, treading upon his feet and then he says that because his feet were naked his naked feet they were hurt by the roughness of the road he had not thought about it of course that if i walk on the road and it would be a freezing road because the time is that of january uh, it, the temperatures are very very low it is london and uh, he is he might be invisible but he is not uh, uh, he is not uh, prone uh, to how the weather conditions would be and he goes there and he finds himself naked in extreme cold so his feet are hurt and uh, the freezing road 
makes it difficult for him to walk. So these are some experiences that he is sharing with Dr. Kemp that this is what happened to me and not only this he says that a cart uh, which is also called a handsome uh, dug into his shoulder blades due to which his shoulder was also wounded because obviously the car driver would not know that there is a person so he is hurt severely by this rushing crowd and then he says that he was near freezing because of the cold and he was also sneezing badly. So he has got a bad cold throughout this novel. We have seen that this man has actually been suffering from a bad cough and cold and he has been sneezing um, every time. And then uh, another problem occurred when some young boys noticed that there were foot marks which were muddy or bleeding on the pavement and they could actually see a ghost foot because his foot was now covered with dirt so they could maybe see uh, uh, an outline of just the foot and you can imagine uh, that if somebody has noticed it uh, people gather what has happened what are you seeing what is it and a little crowd gathers to see how come ghost footprints are forming on the pavement wherever this man is going so uh, the invisible man had to escape from this place and he barely managed to do so because these young boys kept following these footprints and he says that he took a maze of roads so that he could just go by and these children or these boys would stop following him he took a maze of roads to get out of there he also says that dogs now this is very very important this thing you will have to remember that dogs were able to sense him that you know uh, wherever he went he found that dogs would sniff around and they would maybe start barking because they could sense the presence of somebody even when people could not see him or the people did not realize that there was somebody at least dogs managed to sense and if you remember how fear inside's dog had reacted uh, who who is fear inside uh, do you remember that chapter when fear inside had come to deposit his luggage from the railway station to the coach and horses in his dog had attacked the stranger something which he, the dog had never done before so uh, this is where maybe we realize because even that dog could sense something wrong with this person uh, which other people could not so the dogs were able to sense him so this